Before we started doing this, every month I was spending close to um, $200 a month just on chicken grain. They were probably figuring out how to make their own feed, and so this is a great way for you to do that. What's going on YouTube fam? It's Nathaniel here with Squeaky Tree Homestead, and we are outside today. It is a gloomy day. It was raining all morning until about 1 um, this afternoon but it has stopped but it is still kind of just gloomy and nasty but we're out here we gotta we gotta do some chores gotta collect oh let me fix your lens we gotta collect some eggs and then I know the the pig fence probably due to the gloomy weather that the solar's probably battery is probably dead so I have an extra battery I'm gonna swap out but while we're out here I wanted to talk to you about feed video and you know prices are rising and feed costs are rising so I wanted to kind of go over some thoughts on what we do to help cut cost on feed because I know that many of you like ourselves spend a lot of money on feed for our animals and there are many things we can do to cut cost you wanna help me collect eggs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. those are the layer eggs hey, can I see this? And then here, we'll get that for the meat chicken eggs. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go check on, I'll be right there boys. I'm gonna check on the baby chicks. How we doing in here? How we doing? Look how tiny you are, you're nice and fluffy. I see you over there. They all like to hide over there, see them all? This chicken brooder does so well. And we have the two heat lamps, of course we got the water and the feed. Tilled the garden, the top garden. And um, you can see two rows there. They're, uh, we're prepping, we're, we're prepping, we're getting things closer and closer. And we've tilled the bottom garden a few more times. I've got all the fencing around all the gardens done so the chickens, if they ever escape or if we let them out to free range, they won't uh, tear up our gardens. I tilled here. This is the, the look at the flowers and the strawberries. They're coming out, which is great. We tilled here because we're gonna put uh, melons right there. Let me here. I'll open it up. You coming in? Come on. put fresh bedding in there, but I set up the thing like a little nesting box. Look at that, they started laying in it. Watch what we do with these. That's only one of the little stalls. Okay, we'll just fill it up and then we'll get the rest. I think, I think our chickens are laid. Look at that. Look at that. Good night. Yep. If you want to keep up on like clean eggs, you got to keep up on the fresh bedding. And since we have a stationary coop right now, fresh bedding is key to keep cleaner eggs. With the cost of everything, we wanted to build a chick shawl for our, to replace this coop so we can move the coops, the chickens around and make it more mobile. But with the cost of everything, a chick shawl is going to be around close to nine hundred dollars, seven to nine hundred dollars, and I just we're just not. I ain't doing it. How's it going over there, Eli? Um, good. <laughs> I'll want to carry it. You, you want to carry this? <laughs> it is heavy. Oh, one more. Oh, nice. My stick one. Did it crack? That's because these shells are rock solid. Big chicken eggs. Big chicken eggs. Nice. Whoa, whoa. We're eating right now. Come on! Come on! 
You got them, boys? Look at y'all's muscles. <laughs> Is that heavy? <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the feed cost. So, dealing with the chickens, since we just collected their eggs, uh, grain costs can cost, can start adding up very quickly. So, something that we do to help cut cost would be uh, we soak our feed for a day or two to help the grain really swell up and break up. And it's supposed to double your... So here's something that's been soaking for a little bit. As you can see, it's, it's starting to swell up a little bit. But we're gonna let that soak even for like another day. And it'll really help swell it up, break it down, pulls out more nutrients for the chickens, but then it actually soaking your feed is supposedly supposed to help double your your, your feed, you know, increase the uh, longevity of it because they eat less because it's, it's swelled up a lot more. So that's one thing we do for our chickens. Another thing that you can do to help with your feeding your chickens is you can let them free range. Uh, free ranging is a great way to control your bugs, but also feeds them. They'll pick on your grass and, and, and all types of things, bushes, and of course if you let them in your garden, they'll tear your garden up too. You got it, you need me to help you? Yeah. Another thing you can do for your chickens is food scraps. This will all vary for everybody's circumstance, but those are just some things that we do to help kind of cut our cost and to make the, the feed that we buy last longer. Uh, we buy also feed, not from Tractor Supply. I love Tractor Supply and I love those kind of stores, but we actually buy a feed from the Amish. It is uh, much cheaper and we get more volume of food per you know dollar amount which is kind of really nice we got to change the battery on the pig solar but we also got to um, feed them and here's one thing that we get that helps cut cost on feed that you can use for your chickens or your pigs and that is bread look at that big bag of bread so there's probably 30 loaves of bread in there rolls uh, muffins, whatever, and uh, it is two dollars for a bag. And we get these from our local Wonder Bread store. And what they do is they're expired bread that they can't sell to humans for human consumption, but they can. It's still good enough to, that they put in bags, and they can give it to you for your farm for your animals. And it's two dollars a bag. Um, and you know, thirty loaves that'll last you a while. And if you're worried about, they, there are organic loaves in there but that you can use if that's all you want to use for your your loaves of bread but yeah so but here you go like look still brand spanking looking these are non-gmo this is a good way to cut costs on feed because two dollars a bag i mean you could you could spend twenty dollars on ten bags of that which would be what 300 loaves of bread and you could feed your pigs, your chickens on that for the month if you, um, yeah, really the month. So for 20 bucks a month, you could feed your chickens and pigs off of bread. Now you're probably worried about nutrient value on it, but grain um, is, you know, basically converted into bread. So that's what, you know, we're getting. And of course, if we eat it, but if you uh, are worried about nutrient value, you can always supplement other things like food scraps or uh, some extra grain. But the whole point of this is to to expand your um, to help your grain costs spread out longer, so that you're not going through it so fast. You following us? What do you think? What are your opinions on that? Yeah. What do you think, little baby? Yeah. So yeah. So this is one way we do it. So check out your Wonder Bread local bread stores or anything like that that have uh, bread and see if like hey do you guys do you guys sell like bulk bread that you don't sell to humans for like farms and stuff because uh, we'll use it And you can see it's look, it's super still great quality, has a bunch of seeds in it and whole grain.
Yeah, as you can tell, the pigs love it. Another thing that you can do to cut costs for pigs is food scraps. And what's great about food scraps, we get food scraps from friends, we get food scraps from family members. We're like, hey, fill up buckets or, or bags of trash, whatever you want. Give us all your food scraps and we'll give it to the pigs. That is um, amazing and you can use that to help cut costs on pigs. Also, if you go to like restaurants or, or grocery stores locally, even like organic stores, you can ask them if you can get their, their food scraps left over from that day and then you can um, collect those bins and also give that to your, your pigs. That's why we love pigs. Pigs are super, really they're free to feed between food scraps and then letting them root up and dig for worms and grubs on your land, you can feed your pigs completely. Now we do give them some bread, but we mostly feed them from food scraps, which is amazing. Oh, whoa, you're giant! That is humongous! <laughs> He's been eating! <laughs> He's been game truck. So this is the IntelliShock that came with our Premier One fencing. And um, there's just a tab over here you open up. I bought an extra battery specifically for these reasons when it's been cloudy and not sunny for a while, the, it's just not gonna charge. There is an AC adapter to charge this, but I'm going to, uh, so you can see there's just two tabs here. So you're just gonna remove the ground and then the hot and you're good to go. And then here's a fresh battery ready to uh, be used. Yep. Big old pig. My bears are here. Hey, hey, Cody. You want to hear nice? My bam. There you go. So, oh no! All right, there you go. So you just put those two in, and then we'll slide it in just like that. Eat it. So when you see green, you know that your battery's uh, charged and it's good to go. When you see green, red, that means it's half full, and you gotta gonna have to charge it. Ow! <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be acting like that if it was on. Wait, really? Yeah. You would oh, be I would be screaming like a pig. Yeah. You probably would be screaming like a pig. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm turning it on. Yay. Look who joined us out here. Hello. Little baby Opal and the beautiful one, Jessica. Hello. Yeah. So uh, she's gonna rem she's gonna correct me if everything I that I said is wrong, <laughs> oh, no. but I just want to do a recap for all of you so that it makes sense. Watering your grain to ferment will help um, your grain last longer because it takes less to feed your chickens. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's one idea. So we do it overnight just because we're busy, but if you do it for three days, they say that it actually doubles your feed. Yeah. So the other one is food scraps that you can give to your chickens or pigs, and that really helps cover the um, cost, offsets the cost because you have your own food. We ask our friends and family for food scraps. You can also go to your local restaurants and grocery stores to see if they got extra food scraps that you can grab. The worst they can say is no, right? And then the other thing is going to a local bread store and asking for um, expired bread that they won't sell, but would they be willing to give to you for animals? That is a great way. We get 10 bags a month for $20, and I mean, we feed our chickens and our pigs with it, along with our food scraps. Yeah. So then now our grain is lasting. Usually, before we started doing this, every month I was spending close to um, $200 a month just on chicken grain. Nothing else, just chicken grain. Now, we spent, I spent um, $200, and we've been on the same $200 for the past two months because we've been doing the bread and the food and we scraps have a ton left. and we still have five bags left of that yeah so if you're worried about like if you're thinking to yourself i'm just gonna throw a loaf of bread over to the chickens like is that going to uh, you know they're gonna eat a too big of a piece and it's gonna like impact them or something so what we have done is we take loaves of bread and we toast them all in the oven at the same time and then we take it and we grind it all up just with our hands you know you just mash it up like breadcrumbs and um, <laughs> um like breadcrumbs or whatever and then you fill it you put it in whatever you store your chicken feed in right. so if it's in a, you know how we do the metal trash can or whatever and then you just scoop it out and give them a scoop like you would and so if you're thinking well nutritional value what is that well 
make sure that when you're going through the loaves of bread and see that there's whole grains and seeds mm -hmm. and just a bunch of things and so right. you're getting a mixture in there as well as you can add some food scraps to to their uh to their feed yeah to like your your fruits and your weeds that you pull from your garden right and the tops of the strawberries that you cut off or the seeds in your watermelon whatever whatever right. it is you can they can have a, a full diet because i can guarantee you in the great depression or even before those times with little house on the prairie and all of that they probably weren't they were probably figuring out how to make their own feed and so this is a great way for you to do that and then of course one more thing too you can always just let your chickens free range that's good uh, bug control they're going to pick out your weeds and your grass so that'll also help offset costs. And then moving your pigs around on your land, they're gonna root, they're gonna find grubs and worms, which will also help offset feed because they'll be eating. The biggest, hardest thing that we have for feed is hay with our goats and, and cow. They, both animals waste a lot of hay. So really, I haven't found a, a great solution to helping that. But what you could do is every day when you go in is just scoop up what they kind of drop out and try to put back into the hay feeder so that you don't waste as much. But there's there's always just going to be waste. And if you have ideas on hay, obviously yeah. comment because we would love to hear that. Another thing that we do with our goats is during the... Um, during the summer, of course, we'll have, you know, all the leaves will be filled, all the trees will be filled with their leaves and stuff. You can trim branches and feet and drop that into the goats and they will tear the leaves up. And then if you have the land where you have a ton of thicket and stuff, you can also move them in with like electric fencing and they'll clear out your thicket and, and briar patches and stuff because the goats kind of love that stuff. Yeah. Well, hopefully this helped you guys. These are kind of some tips and things that we do to help kind of offset costs. We know feed prices are keep going up. So we wanted to just kind of help encourage you that you guys can do it. And there are some different ways and, and, and tricks that you can help um, kind of help that money last a little longer for the month and your feed last a little longer. Well, God bless you guys, and we will see you in the next video.